come out. Don't move. Are you an idiot or are you faking it? I'm an idiot. You were told very nicely not to bother respected people. You obviously misunderstood the warning. Who are these <laughs> respected people? <laughs> are you mentally disabled or have you fallen sick? You didn't answer me. How am I supposed to know who I shouldn't bother if you're not giving me a name? Hey man, that's enough talk. Hold on. You were warned not to go sticking your nose into other people's business or... Or what? Why don't you say it? A hole in the head. You go to hell. <laughs> Why aren't you answering your phone? I'm listening. Listening? Why didn't you answer when I called you? How did it go? I'm busy. I'll call you back. I hope this was enough for you to get back at me, Andre. I want you to disappear from my life. Hi, have you had your lunch already? That was fast. Oh, those are the TV ratings that you asked for. All right. Oh, do you need something or may I go? Halia, if I ordered a seafood salad and a cream soup, how long would it take to get here? Maybe an hour to get here or maybe even a bit longer. Can you just order that for me? Okay. Now you can forget about back pains with this new and improved body massager. This wonderful massager allows you to relax and do away with body soreness and improve your well-being and health. Call the number on your screen now and avail of this special 30% discount. It's the perfect present to give the person that you love. Hurry while the discounts last. Mm. Mm. Oh, my back is hurting me. I wish that I could treat it, but I don't have time. Oh, how I wish I had that device. Boy, are you naive? Liuba, this is all plain nonsense. You'd be wasting your money. There's nothing that can replace real hands. A pair of male hands. What do male hands have to do with it? I need a massager. Mm. <laughs> Just relax. Relax. Lower. Here? Oh, mm -hmm. It's good to have that kind of massaging device. It works without electricity. <laughs> and can even talk hmm. nicely. That's enough, thank you. You're welcome. You should go back to work. I'm going. Hey, hey, I didn't mean you. recommend a new dish from our head chef. It's the soup with dumplings. It's very tasty.
What's wrong? Why did she run off? If the set agreement includes conditions that weren't included in the original contract signed by the two parties, the parties will consider these new conditions relevant amendments to the agreement. What a load of bull. How can anyone understand this? Why does this even exist? Nazar, look at how dusty your computer is. Soon you won't be able to see the letters. What matters is I can see everything that I need to see. Or should I make you look at my hands? I did this in the first grade. Here, see if they're clean. Stop that! You're such a pig! Would the both of you please shut up? You're not the only one working here. It's impossible to concentrate. Good afternoon, Lesia. Good afternoon. Lesia, I came here to get you. Our partners have come there a few hours early. Shall we go then? Yes. So to hell with our plans. I'll meet you at the exit, all right? Okay? How's the agreement coming along? I'm still working on it. Thoroughness and rush are incompatible things, but we need to apply them at work sometimes. See you, okay? When you're finished, don't send it yet. Wait for me. Did you know? Zoriana left and hasn't come back yet. How can she just do that? What happened? Where did she go? How am I supposed to know? She was working normally. Everything seemed good. But when the visitors came, she ran away. End of story. Maybe there was something you said that was rude to her? Or Petro? I swear I didn't say anything. I only told her that she should return to work. Mm -hmm. I see. Oh, speaking of the devil. I'm oh. here. Zoriana. Were you crying? Z Zoriana! Are you so desperate for a cup of coffee? <laughs> kind of, yes. But the coffee machine isn't working. It happens. Maybe it has a reason why it's not working. Um, oh. I think I may have found the reason for that. There. Uh, that's great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's try it out. All right. Okay. Hooray! I'll take a risk then, too. You look like you love coffee. Mm. You know, there was a coffee shop in Boston close to my university. This Italian, Roberto, was brewing incredible coffee there. I'm going to treat you there one of these days. Thanks, I won't refuse. Uh, mm. uh, shall the three of us with Anna go for lunch? As in right now. If you want, we can go to our Varenki restaurant. Mom told me that Petro cooked a special dish. Sounds good. And I think Anna will agree too. Yes, honey? Can you imagine I still haven't had time to have lunch today? So what am I supposed to do with such a disorganized husband? I'll tell you now. Turn your computer off and come downstairs and meet us. Yan and I will wait for you by the coffee machine. We are thinking of having lunch at your mom's restaurant. With Yana? I haven't finished work yet. Oh darn. How long will it take? About an hour. No, I really don't think I can wait that long. I'm starving. Come over as soon as you're done there. I'll wait for you. See you later, honey. Olena, did you work on the agreements that we had made with the Romanians? Mm, no, I was only helping with it. It was Lesha and you who were the ones dealing with the foreign clients. Not me. <laughs> I understand. 
If you want, I can show you the files where we are keeping the documents that are similar to that. <sighs> can you show them to me, please? Here you go. Thank you. Oh, did you? Yes, and the vegetables too. Carrots, onions, potatoes, and cabbage. The same amount that we ordered last week. Yes. Mm-hmm, thank you. And flour too, please. Thank you. Hello. Yana, why didn't you tell me you were coming? Here with Dennis. Would you arrange a parade with an orchestra in my honor? Hi, Mom. Hello, sweetheart. Glad to see you, Dennis. Mm hmm Did you come to visit or eat? Um, Yana and I were invited to eat in this wonderful place. However, it's my treat. <laughs> no. We will treat you. We won't allow you to pay for anything. Sit down at the table and we'll make something fast. Come in, come in. Here's Where's Anna? Anna? Why isn't she with you? Anna is a little delayed by work. She'll be here soon. Oh, Dennis, maybe she should have some rest after that awful incident that happened on the yacht. Oh, it's all right, Alia. Don't worry. She refused to go to the doctor, insisting work is the best medicine for her. My wife is like that. Yes, I recognized our Anna. Where's Andre? I called him a couple of times, but he isn't answering his phone. He must be out filming. He'll call when he is free. Hello, Dennis. Chef Petra at your service. Five more minutes and you'll have a healthy, heavenly meal that you'll never forget. <laughs> One moment. Do you think that's funny? Maybe you're tired of working here. Oh, I am sorry. And I didn't do it on purpose. You fool. The number you have dialed cannot be reached at the moment. I can't believe my sister is with my husband. To hell with these boring negotiations. Aren't you going to wait for Lesha, Anna? I tried calling her, but she didn't answer. It's not my problem. Is it just me, or has Anna turned into a really awful person after the crash? Or maybe it could be because of the marriage? All I know is when Lesha returns from the meeting, she's not going to like that Anna just left. Hello. Where are you? I'm here at home. Oh, why weren't you answering? I was calling you. I'm really sorry about that. So, something came up and I wasn't able to answer your calls. Was it something important? Yes, I wanted to invite you out for dinner. We're all at my mom's restaurant. Anna will be here soon. Can you come? Ah, Anna's coming. That sounds like a good idea. I'm coming. I haven't even had lunch yet. Hurry up. The food is delicious. We're going to start without you. I'll be right there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to make an official statement that this dumpling soup of Petro is a real work of culinary art. Bravo, mm. Petro. I'm happy you like it. <laughs> the soup's just soup. It was cooked professionally by a person who went to culinary school. If I had the time to take such a course, I would have made it even better. Oh, I'm sure. Not now, but in the future. By the way, I haven't finished the course yet. Well, I can see that. Yuba, you know, I have only tasted dumpling soup as good as this one just once in my life. It was in a restaurant in Prague. Well, did you know that Liuba has visited the best restaurants all over Europe? She knows everything. <laughs> bon appétit. Hello, everybody. Mm. Hi. Have you left anything there for me? <laughs> hey. Sit How down. We put a portion Hi. away for you. You aren't going to leave here hungry. Hello. How are you, darling? Oh, I'm okay. Uh, should I? Let me do it. All right. Oh. Yana, is it okay if I sat next to my husband? Oh, 
Uh, sure, of course you can. Oh, thank you. It was a really hard day today. It seemed really endless. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that my niece could be so possessive. Mm, just like her aunt. You'd kill anybody for me. Oh. <laughs> All right. Here you go. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. The soup with dumplings. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I'll be right back. The soup is really good. Bon appétit. Thank you. At first he tried to escape from us, but I pressed him down. And we were able to manage. And? I told him he should mind his own business. And after that, Vasi punched him in the face and knocked him out. If he is smart, he would understand what I meant by that. So we've done our job. The client should pay us. One moment. Who was calling? Honey? Come on, are you not allowing your wife to take a personal call? <laughs> Don't worry, it was my manicurist. I'll just call her later. Zoriana, you can't sit there like that. You have to eat something. No, I don't want to. I'm not hungry. Hey, let me start cleaning up the kitchen. Uh, I'll join you in a while, okay? Oh, Andre. Hi, everybody. Good evening. I'm sorry I'm late. Andre, uh, what's the matter? I was attacked by bandits. Oh. Someone ordered them to. I was fighting like the Terminator. I hit one on the jaw. But I hurt my arm. Oh, I wish you were there to see them run away. <laughs> but who is this bastard that ordered them to do this to you? Andri, tell us the truth. What really happened to you? The truth is I fell. While filming. We were shooting in an old building. I didn't see the stairs behind me and... It's a good thing that I'm still alive. Are you in pain? Not a lot. Oh, I believed you. I swear that I did. He said that story so convincingly, right? <laughs> All right, that's enough of talking. Andre, sit down. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Why don't we all make a toast for good health and good luck, a toast that will keep trouble away from all of us? Let's toast to that. I wish for everybody good health and good luck. She's insistent. I have to answer this or it will never stop. I'll be back soon. Andre is <laughs> the Terminator. <laughs> oh, darn it. I forgot the keys in my car. If I didn't answer the phone, it meant I couldn't talk. Can't you understand? The job's been done. Where's the payment for it? Pay up! You know I'm not sure you even did what I asked you to do. Listen, we are respectable people and give guarantees. We don't discuss details, especially not over the phone. That man won't bother you anymore. My people are waiting to get their money. All right, well, I'll solve this issue as soon as possible. Goodbye. Have you lost your mind? Were you the one who sent over those two men carrying guns? Why don't I call the police and tell them? Because I know very well who ordered it. Oh, really? Don't make me laugh. How are you going to prove that? Did you find your keys? What keys? Oh. Yes, I found my uh, keys. And what about your manicurist? All fixed? Did you fix the problem there? Oh, right, yes. She asked to reschedule our appointment. She said she has some personal issues. It's all right. Let's go back inside. I haven't thanked you yet. Thanks. For finding a job at the station for me. Me and Yana. The only thing I can do is work at the TV station. Also, I like the way Carolina is managing things there. Well, I'd like to thank you for your professionalism and also for being useful to my sister. The TV channel is not only Carolina's project, but our, our family business. A successful business is when everybody is useful. Right. I'm very happy for Yana. 
I can see that she loves working at the TV station. Good for Yana. I want to help her forget about that crash as soon as possible. Yes. She's incredible. Just incredible. Why did you call me to the kitchen? I wanted to stay a little longer with a... Zoriana. Hey, why are you still working in the kitchen? Hey, why don't you tell me what happened? Hey, here. I'll go then. Why should I stand here watching you cry? I've seen a lot of tears in my life. Earlier, did you see the guy who came here to have lunch with a... a girl? I went to them and then... then I ran away. What guy? Which one? There were so many of them. Oh, I know. The guy with the pimples? <laughs> did he have pimples? Yes, he was pimply and greedy. I was the one who served them and he... he didn't bother to leave a tip. I used to date him. I just graduated from school those days. I guess you can call him my first love. I dreamt of a wedding and children. He used to bring me flowers. <laughs> like he gave to her. I guess he didn't need me. <laughs> stop, stop enough. You, you have to forget about it. Hey, we'll show them. That's what we'll do. First they fool us. Then when they get what they need, they run away from us. Is this the way you think about all men? Is this how you think about me? In theory, yes. This is from my experience. <laughs> I learned that all men are the same. If you have such rich experiences, maybe I should just go. So you won't say that I just ran away. Then go. Go on. Do you think I'm going to stop you? Go on. I'm not going to shed a tear. Don't even think of coming up to me. Huh. Liuba, why did you quarrel with Petro? Huh. Who cares? Take your medicine before you forget. No, thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Have a good day today. We're off to work. Dennis, do you remember when you were... Five years old, you went out on the balcony, looked at the street, and said, What a wonderful working day. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, how's our deal with the Romanians? Is it going good? They're fussing a little, but it's all under control. <laughs> Why don't we have dinner together tonight? I noticed that lately, you both haven't been at home. I can be here. You, honey? I'd love to. I promise you I'll make sure that we return from work not too late. <laughs> Bye. That's good. I see you're keeping to your word. You're wearing your ring all the time. <laughs> I told you I'm never taking this ring off. It's a sign of our love for each other. Hello? Anna, where are you? In the car on the way to work. I need you to come straight to me as soon as you arrive. Something wrong? The agreement with the Romanians got cancelled because of you. What do you mean? This is what. The Romanians cancelled the contract. They got the tiles for the new price, and now they're refusing to pay for it. This is because the conditions of the agreement we had had been violated. Isn't the situation something that we can fix? Do you think that we can, after you sent the attachment? They are now refusing to cooperate with us, and as a matter of fact, they have sent us a huge invoice. Didn't I tell you? 
not to send the attachment without my approval. I called you a couple of times yesterday so that you can approve it. You knew very well I was at the negotiations. I couldn't just... So now what? How much will Sirikat Bud lose with the cancellation of the contract? Well, according to my calculations, about one million frivnias for direct damages only. I need to take this. What time are we meeting today? I'm busy right now. Let's talk tomorrow, understand? I've already done my job. I need my money today. Did you hear me? I'll call you later. I don't understand. If something went wrong, why didn't you talk to me? I'm always here. I... I wanted to. I thought that it would be fine. This is all a misunderstanding. This is a crime! A professional crime! I just... I just wanted... Something is going on with me, you know? I'm sorry, this is not my fault! Alright, calm down. But promise me that you will consult with me, okay? Next time, come to me. I see this as an issue of trust. I will sort this all out, somehow. You're not expecting me. No. You should have. What do I owe the honor of your visit? I have questions to ask you, Carolina. What do you think about... Chinese noodles? Nothing. But I have a question for you, too. How many cars did you crash into this time? <sighs> I wanted to apologize for yesterday. I had very urgent issues and... Well, it turned out that the brakes of my car didn't work. So it's good that I didn't give you a ride. You could have been hurt in an accident. You know mobile phones were invented for reasons like this, right? Yes, but it wasn't the ideal situation to use it. I couldn't call. When I got home, it was already late and, uh... Even if you made stuff up, I guess you did it in a good way. Well, <laughs> I am trying. If you're still upset with me, I'd better leave you. Sit down. Let's discuss the idea of a new show, the one I wanted to talk to you about in the first place. All right. You have my full attention. <clears throat> Being the head of the Enterprise, you are supposed to develop the business and not do things to destroy it. Remember, Dennis. The boss is the one responsible for the mistakes of his subordinates. He is responsible! I agree with you, Dad. Please, stop shouting. Your health. This isn't Dennis's fault. It's mine. After the crash, I've been... Not a word from you. I'm not talking to you now. Can't you see that I'm talking to my son? Hello, everyone. Hello. Oh, is this a bad time right now? <sighs> Honey, come over here. I'll explain everything to you. I can't listen to this anymore either. I'll just go. Listen to me, son. You have to dismiss your wife. She can't work there anymore. And because of what happened, you have to restore the reputation of the factory as soon as possible and find a way out of this bad situation with minimal losses for the business. Do you agree? Yes. Carolina, I don't understand. How could you have failed to hear what was going on? You both were in the same building. Yes, but in different companies and on different floors. Why? What happened? Are we in some kind of mess because of Anna? Your father is blaming Dennis for everything, but the problem with the contract is really her fault. I think that Anna will be the cause of trouble in our family. Hm.
Carolina, can you spare some minutes to talk with me? I think we have to talk another time. If the meeting dedicated to your success is over, I think I have to go and calm my brother and father down. I have an idea of how we might be able to partially solve this problem. Good for you. But I think that it will be better if you told this not to me, but to Father and to Dennis. I'm sure they will be interested in hearing that. But they're refusing to listen to me now. Carolina, please, I just want ten minutes of your time. And if my idea seems stupid to you, you may refuse it at any time. I'm just asking you to listen. I have an idea in which we start an original entertainment show. If you have an idea then, just send us your synopsis and the scenario. Listen to the end, please. The show will be called Maybe My Fortress. We can ask the participants of the show to talk about different topics, like the building, repairs, and even the decorating of their houses. The main thing is to involve rich guests, and also show business stars. Stars who can raise our ratings. We can advertise silicate bud. We can use the company's products during the program. It's interesting. I like it. We should first make a list of potential guests and study the products of silicate bud thoroughly. And we still have airing time that hasn't been filled that we can use. We can try. Yes, let's give it a try, please. And if you're ready to work full-time, I think that would be ideal. Of course, I'm ready. All right, I'll tell Dennis and Father about this suggestion of yours. Of course. Let's do it together. No, I know my father better. I think I better tell him about it myself right now. Carolina! Thank you. I'm so happy that you're working at the TV station. Excuse me. Can I make a request not to mention the name Anna to me? I don't like her ideas, nor her suggestions. Why are you all silent? Hmm? Father. What? I don't mean to go against your wishes, but I think this project might be able to raise Silicate Bud to a new level. I'm sure that it is good enough to increase the sales of the company and cover today's damages. Dennis, what do you think? Tell me, huh? This is television. We can sell the show to the Capital Channel, because doing that will guarantee new clients that will replace those lost by the company. Thank you, Carolina, but I don't think that this is going to work. Mm. Yeah. No offense, this is the first time I'm hearing something like this. In fact, I don't think anybody in this country has done this before. Fine, then. But you know, I was going to make a new show anyway, so... We don't plan to spend additional money on it. This is my decision and my risk. I'll give Anna a chance, and I will ask her to make the pilot program. Okay, then do it. Ah, children, children. Tell me, what am I supposed to do with you guys? <laughs> Go for it, then. Hello. Hello. You're in the office early. Mm-hmm. I want to make up for the mistake that I made. By the way, before I forget, I will need your help. Can you share the information that you have on famous people that are clients of Silicate Bud? Okay, I'll help you. But why do you need this? May I? I'm sorry I'm a bit late. Lesha and I prepared the list of guests for the pilot show. Sit down. I have collected a list of girls. Now we have to narrow it down to find a host for the show. Mm. I have chosen three, but I've not made the final decision without consulting you. Let's look at them. Irina, she is a commercial model. 
She is beautiful. I remember that she used to work as a reporter. A reporter of one of the more popular capital channels in the region. But not for long, though. She might be able to talk with prompts, but she doesn't know how to improvise. Well, you've convinced me. This is Natalie. She is a 19-year-old student of the Faculty of Directing. I think that the show should be hosted by someone that is maybe not this young. Don't you think that it would be strange that a very young girl is talking about serious matters on television? Let her finish her studies first. We can keep her in mind for later. You're more demanding than I am. <laughs> Third one, mm -hmm. Alina, and she is 26 years old. Oh yes, I know her. She used to work as a TV copywriter and then in the news. How do you know all of them? Well, my sister does work for a television network, you know. So I would go see her often to visit and also, <laughs> Cherkasi is not a very big city. All right, well, I like this particular girl. She has experience and is quite knowledgeable. Her resume showed she graduated from the Faculty of Design. Mm-hmm, I didn't know about that. Maybe we can invite her to do a test first. And then, if she can prove she can improvise during the shooting, we can invite her. You know what I don't understand is this. If you like working in TV so much, why did you study economics? Just because. But you know, I must confess to you, it's been a while since I've been this happy doing something in a long time. It's going to be the show of my dreams. Well, that's good to know. By the way, we can go home together today. Thanks, but I shouldn't. I want to stay here a little bit longer. We'll make this happen. <laughs> Coffee! I made it special for you. You're still here? Why? I can't go home yet. Not when I know my wife is working so hard. Is there anything that I can help you with? Honey, I was the one who created this problem, so I think I need to deal with it on my own. Finally, I am seeing the Anna that I used to know before. What do you mean? I've always been this way. <laughs> oh, are we disturbing you? Of course not. I was just saying hi to my wife. Why haven't you guys gone home yet? The workday has ended already. Do you think badly of us? Yes, we all failed, so we all have to work a little bit harder. Honey, we bought so much already. How are we going to carry all of this? We can call for a taxi. A taxi? That's expensive. We can't take a taxi just to carry the food. Maybe we should have asked Petra to come. This is nice. Mom, please don't worry. I go to work. I think we can afford to get this much. And next week, why don't we plan for a nice picnic by the river? Do you remember when we vacationed at the tourist bay when you were teenagers? There were wooden huts by the Ross River. You and Anna loved to go swimming there. You also enjoyed playing badminton with the boys. And in the evenings, you used to go to discos. You were such an active girl. <laughs> I would go to discos? Sure. I remember. Once you had stood in front of the mirror and said, I'm so happy and beautiful, Arthur invited me to the dance. <laughs> Luba and I laughed our heads off. That's weird. I'm not interested in any of that now. What was Anna like when she was young? She was very different. She liked sitting by the bank of the river, and she read all the time. She'd be so calm and quiet. She was very different. Hmm. Let's go. We should buy some bamboo shoots and rice noodles so we can make a tasty, healthy soup. Yes, okay. Oh, Olya Valentinovna. Good morning, I'm glad to see you. Likewise, this is my friend Zana. Oh, good afternoon, I'm Zana. I'm an old friend of Valeria, Anna Tolivna, and you are uh, the mother of Anna, right? Yes. Uh, glad to meet you. Uh, glad to meet you. A and you must be Yana, her sister, right? Yes. Uh, glad the to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Uh, and mine. Yana, dear, how are you? How are you feeling? I'm oh. fine, thanks. I work at the TV station with Catalina, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm very grateful to her oh. for hiring me. Oh, did you hear about what Anna had done? 
No, what happened? Nothing serious. Don't worry about it. It's all mm, fine. No, now. it's not. Not everything is fine. I don't remember the details, but the damages amount to about a million or maybe more. Oh, she is so lucky that her father-in-law, Ryori, is a very kind man. He was very mad, but he... Well, he gave Anna another chance. Zana, will you just shut up, please? Oh, I'm sorry. I, uh, what I really wanted to tell you was that it all worked out fine. Oh, but we really don't know anything. Don't worry about it. Like I said, everything is okay and it ended well. Valeria, please tell us the details. I think that I have a right to know, or I will just worry. Didn't I tell you not to call me? I called because I lost my patience with you. Pay the money and nobody will bother you. I already told you. People have different circumstances. I don't have the money right now. I can only pay 5,000. Oh, you're being too generous. Just keep that money and buy yourself a pair of tights. I have a strong feeling that you don't know who you're dealing with here, honey. If I don't receive the money by tomorrow, I'll be glad to give the info about Anna Dobrovolsky to her husband. Then you'll have to pay double the price. Do you think that I'm some kind of fool? Victor, you have no proof. I advise you not to quarrel with me. I want you to look for some kind of a compromise. I hope you understand what I mean. I understand. But you have to understand me too. My part is not very big here. But people are waiting to be paid money honestly earned. You better stick to your word if you want to count on us in the future. All right. You win, I will give you your money. Today. I was out walking today and I met this guy. He told me, do you believe in love at first sight? Can I have your phone number and you can meet up with an incredible person? Did you give him your number? Mm hmm. Oh, honey. Men will not marry someone as trustworthy as you are. Don't believe anybody. It's better to be alone than having your heart broken. <sighs> Liu, but you shouldn't have quarreled with Petro. Then you wouldn't be thinking like this. Stop it. I don't want to hear about that fool. Fine, as you wish. But you're behaving like a child. Olya. Did something happen? Is there some kind of problem? <sighs> it looks like it. I'll get this ring back soon. Nobody will notice it's gone.